Terry Coles, the Portugal correspondent for International Living. I get asked from a lot of readers what the climate is like in Portugal. I like to say it's a compact country that has something for everyone in terms of climate. Up north, it's cooler. In the south, it's warmer with hot, dry summers. So let me explain. Porto in the north is a large city, but there's certainly plenty of towns around there. The weather in the winter is cool, uh, damp, lots of rain, might get some periods of frost. In the mountains surrounding the area, there is snow and there's even one ski area in the country. Um, Porto in that area receives about 50, five zero inches of rain per year compared to the southern area, part of the re country that gets about 10 inches. But if you like cooler temperatures, that part of the country might be for you. I'd say summer temperatures probably never soar into the 90s. They probably stay more around the 75 to 80 degree range. Winters might get down to freezing. Daytime temperatures would get, would get up to maybe 40s. But if you want to have a real uh, bit of winter while you live in Portugal, that could be for you. In the middle of the country, there's an area called um, the Silver Coast, the central region as it's called. Uh, parts of the middle of the country are a microclimate. We lived there for two years and the summers there never really get hot. Even today, it's 95 in the Algarve region in the south and it's about 65 degrees in the middle of the country. Now, if you're a cool weather person and don't like hot summer temperatures, this could be the perfect place for you. We have a lot of friends there that are from the UK or cooler parts of the US like Oregon, Alaska. And so they don't like hot, dry summers. They want to stay with the more mild spring-like temperatures. So perhaps they never need air conditioning and they need some heat in the winter. But also since they're cooler natured, perhaps they don't even need heat in the winter. So that's the middle of the country. In Lisbon, uh, the summers are a little warmer because you're coming a little further south. Summers are a little warmer, probably getting into the 80s, and winters are a little less severely cold. But again, there will be, um, there will be rain there in the winter as well. Pretty much in the summer throughout Portugal, we don't get much rain, especially in the south, but the winter time is when we get rain instead of snow. You might get some snow in the mountains, but certainly not throughout the country. Now, in the southern part of the country, we have the regions of the Alentejo and the Algarve. Climate in the Alentejo is severe um, in both the summer and winter. Summer temperatures climb well into the hundreds. They're hot, dry, no rain, and winter temperatures can dip down to freezing, uh, but uh, the Alentejo is an area known for severe weather. Now, where we are in the, Al in the Algarve region, think temperatures like Florida. Mild winters, hot, dry summers, no rain in the summer, um, and mild winters. Um, temperatures in the Algarve in the winter can reach as high as 60. Um, but typically it's more like 50s, nights get down to 40s, but we don't see freezing temperatures here. So it's a much, um, much milder climate. So I like to say there's some, some temperatures for everyone throughout the country. Ask yourself a lot of questions, what you need, what kind of climate you'd be happy in. And um, if you have any more questions about climate or anything in Portugal, feel free to email me at portugal at internationalliving.com. Or if you'd like more information on Portugal in general, Click on the link below for your free Portugal report. Thanks for listening.